everyone! Welcome to February Empties. I have a lot. I've been really in use up mode, which means I only allow myself to use one product of that category, and that means you get through them. So this Paul Mitchell Super Spray Freeze and Shine. This is the Sally's generic version. Love this. I just pour it into my spray bottle. It's a flexible, even though it says freeze and shine, it is flexible. This is what I use when I um, put my hair in the Velcro rollers and I give it a good spritz and leave the Velcro in while I do my makeup. And this helps give me some of my oomph at the base. I still use my Tresemme. As you can see, I have one here and one from the travel size. I love my Tresemme number four. I also like the OGX Bamboo because it's flexible. I use that more, you know, on the bottom. But this is great. I also only get my Sally's membership maybe every other year to once every three years. I stock up and then I cancel my membership and that means I don't buy anything. And this is a year where I don't have the membership so I have enough of everything I need. The Shea Moisture 10 in 1 Renewal. I like this hair mask but I don't know that I would repurchase. There's so many others that I really enjoy and I don't think it's amazing. So I'll definitely stick with the other ones. And then my hair color video of how I do my hair and I'm starting to eliminate the number four and going a little darker and I think I like it. I, because I have quite a bit of gray I can gravitate towards being really blondish white looking so I'm eliminating the number four in hopes of just having my gray as the highlight and then having the rest of the hair a little darker. We'll see how that goes. I only have one shower item, this vanilla coconut body wash. I like it, it's nice, but honestly, these philosophy ones aren't very reasonably priced and there's so many other great products out there. I really like the, is it the Caress? Um, I'm one who likes my body wash to have a nice scent. That is the number one thing that I look for. So if you know of one that's drugstore that has a nice scent, let me know. This whitening pen from the dollar store, I love it. I have one of these in my purse all the time and by my computer. I do have the Amazon one that I do occasionally that really brightens it up, but on a regular basis, I really like this. And it's portable, I love having it in my purse. And then Arnica. I get this off Amazon, it's not very much. I know girlfriends who give it to their children when they have a boo-boo and I take it prior to getting any kind of procedures. It helps you so you don't bruise. And then finally, my turmeric, love this. You have to make sure that you get the one with the bioprene in it and the black pepper. And this is off of Amazon. It's a really good brand. I have Mark on it as well. So that says something because it's really hard to get him to take anything. <laughs> I finished up this Heritage Rose Water and Glycerin. It was just okay. I have one in my favorites that's from Trader Joe's. I spray that on. I am loving how that feels. It's not as thick as this one. This one feels like it leaves a residue on me. I love the Trader Joe's one and if I spray it on my sponge, it lasts my under eye makeup all day. I'll talk more about that in my favorites. I have three different moisturizers and these two are not completely used up. This one I think is turning, so note to self, don't buy ahead. It's very, very, very thick. I don't know that I would buy it again unless I had a real dry skin problem. I think I got this a few years ago when I had the problems. My precursor to autoimmune, little did I realize when I started developing all itchy skin and all those kinds of things. This I bought, I don't remember who recommended it, I did not like it. It smells awful, it's sticky on your skin, it doesn't dry down, it's just horrible. This one is the Equate Shea Butter, it's the compared to the Jergens. And I quite like it. It doesn't have too strong of a scent. I'm still looking for a drugstore moisturizer that I absolutely love. What I'm doing to use these up is I put them in my shower, I dry off, I stay in the shower, and then I put on the moisturizer. That means your body's just a little 
more damp than if I actually, after I dry off, get out of the shower and walk over to my counter. It would dry during that time before you get the moisturizer on. So doing it in the shower, your skin is still warm and damp and it helps to hold in the moisture putting this on. But also, it means I'm a wimp with the cold. I don't like coming out of the shower and standing there and putting on my moisturizer while I'm cold. So I'm warm in the shower and it's very pleasant. And I dry off, hang my towel up inside the shower, put this on, and then I grab my towel and I can go out and just get dressed. And the moisturizer dries down in just those couple of minutes. So I love that. I used a, a lip balm. I don't even remember where we got this. It was just okay. I wouldn't repurchase. And then I used up an Olay Regenerous Micro Sculpting Cream. It was just okay. Nothing that I think was worth the money. These are a fairly high price tag. I know some people love the Olay. I haven't seen any improvement or change because of it. Some people are asking me if I'll do a makeup inventory. I haven't had time yet. Mark got me a new camera for Christmas. I haven't had time to get that set up. It has a stabilizer on it so you won't get motion sick while I film product. So that's why I'm waiting. And also, I am decluttering and I keep on doing a little more here and a little more there. So I, I know my makeup will never be stagnant. So I just need to jump in and do it. But the camera, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so I used up two concealers. One was a Tarte Tape Shape and one was this Maybelline Age Rewind. I, will, I have another Tarte Tape shape in Light Sand. This one is in Light Neutral. I like the Light Sand better. It's a little lighter. I would not repurchase because this is so dry. Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chat says she puts it on and dabs it in and then reapplies and that helps her to not crease. It helps somewhat, but this is just really stinking dry on my dry old lady face. I have to hydrate really, really well when I'm using this. And I don't like using it at work because I feel like by the end of the day, it's creping on me and accentuating and I don't need any help in accentuating my wrinkles. This Eraser Dark Circle is my absolute favorite. I sometimes rip off the sponges. If I'm gonna have them in my purse for work, I like to have the sponge on. At home, I rip it off and I put it on to, you know, twist it up and get just a dab on the Beauty Blender. And that makes the product last longer than having the sponge absorb it all you know, the wet beauty blender just kind of puts more onto your face. I used up a Salon Perfect Lash Glue. I get all my lashes from eBay. This e.l.f. eyebrow pencil, I love this. It's, if I could only have one eyebrow product, it would be this. Plus my essence, I like that too. But definitely the e.l.f. brow pencil. I used up another Twist Up Rimmel Lip Liner. It's an East End Snob. It's beautiful. Love the color. Hate that it lasts about one month. I will not buy twist ups anymore. I, the sharpener ones that you have to sharpen, those are the ones that I'm buying. And then as part of my declutter, I'm letting go of all of these shadows that I didn't use in my 2018 use up. I didn't finish. They are beautiful. This is um, Makeup Geek Coco Bear. I think that is a Makeup Geek one. That is, there's just a lot of beautiful colors in there, but I have ones in my palette that replicate it. So I'm trying to get down to just my palettes because that's what I enjoy. I do have some singles, but I'm really being cognizant of why am I keeping this? Do I not have anything in all my palettes that is the same color? And on that note, I'm getting rid of two Milani's. This is Bella Copper and Bella Mandarin. They're beautiful, and I have a lot of other oranges and coppers and golds in my eyeshadow collection, so I don't need them. And then I'm letting go of this little NYX one. I will probably keep this case because I've learned with the NYX that you can pop these out. This is a fine color, but again, I have, you know, in my Anastasia alone, I have several that are very similar. So I might as well keep my favorites, which are my palettes. And then finally, I'm decluttering this Revlon Color Stay. It's very goopy, syrupy. I just don't like the way it's a color stain, moisture stain in color 10. And it's just very um, wet in the formula. And I just don't care for something that is that wet. I am really into my Rimmel 
glasses that Kathy got me into. So that's all my empties. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I hope that you have an amazing day. We'll talk to you next time.